when it's cutting on the side here. Quieter. This is actually fire faster but it's usually quieter. <laughs> Checking for the size, there we go. Slightly smaller, but I don't think that's good. Not a lot in it, it's only all the brake shoe. Right, let's see if we can clean up that end and then this end and then park it off. Then screw it in and hope it fits. Brake linings, brakes back, then what's next? Try and get the drive back in and the diff lock back in, and the oil and pipes back in. Not much then, you know. Right, so that's gonna be there. That's gonna need to be. Just to sort the ends out. facing that way which you would think was left but it seems to be right and least one
you do see me if you pay a bit more for your two holders and that there is a big difference in the quality. That's checked. I've only got one lever till that new one's come, so I'll use this one. Oh, it's not good. So, it's now pointing to the right, but apparently that's a left hand car. Who am I to argue? I'm just a mere amateur. Going about. Right, let's go the other way. You'd think somebody that knew what they're doing did that. Being good chaps and ladies. Just take the hedges off. And then we'll part it off. And that's where you find it. Thread doesn't fit and then you have to then you're in trouble. Be the funny games. to get the carbide pattern tools but I like to break too often. I've got this set which 
So geht. Das ist aber noch perfekt. A lot of vibration here. Try it fast to start with. Can I don't stop. Trying to keep the dimensions the same, so oh, yeah, I might need to turn that down a lot. I don't think it would matter actually. The marker was bigger. through the hard and back should be <laughs> that for being near the centre. Let's break it open. There we go. I'm going to sort that with the grinder. Then we'll try it in. I'll bring it back. There you go. Yeah, I had to play about with the thread a wee bit. It's a little large. But uh, the, when we put an M16 in there, didn't do any good. So the the, the threads through about three eighths or something like that. Uh, 
so that's it in place anyway. a bit we've still got to change these linings out as well I've got the new ones but uh, I think that's all I'm doing today Sunday tomorrow I might take a day, day off see how I feel uh, that's I mean CNC machine would make that in about three minutes if that but I'm just Loading along, making the bits you can't buy, or trying to be anyway. So, so that's for next time. Once we get and that seal's going to hit it going for this is going to be great fun trying to get the shaft through that, get the diff and the spring onto it as we go in. Uh, I don't think the shaft will go on once the shoes are on. No, that has to go in. New seals are in it. Yeah, so that will have to go on and then... The diff has to go in because it it's, it's, takes up the spline. Oh, we'll get it in somehow. Right, that's all I'm doing today. I've just been uh, putting on new brake linings to the um, to the David Brown as usual not enough rivets you need uh, 24 for each side and I haven't got 24 for each side but these ones seem to be a little bit they're, quite, they're too long because you need the longer ones for the, the end ones and they're very brittle as well so probably crack on you what I did, what I came up with is an M12 bolt quite high, quite high into the device there so you can actually see what it is and then big hammer I was cutting them down and this is an experiment this one don't need to cut them down, yes I'm not going to, well I've, I've got four linings so there is for the other side as well but I'm not going to be doing that for a while so Let's see if we can get more of these uh, another packet of these jumped it's quite hard to get it to stay in position Just give that a wobble every now and again to see if it's actually where I want it to be. I, I drilled out the old rivets and then uh, took the old brake linings off outside whilst wearing a mask of high uh, PPE 4 or something. Probably a tool for this. It just squishes them in like a ball something compressor or something. Let's see what's up. So why is that coming out in there? Let's 
going in there. It was only going in at one side. Well, the original ones were copper. They look like brass. They're steel. Magnet picks them up. But these are made in China. Some place like that. India, maybe. Well, they make a lot of tractor parts in India, don't they? Get in the wrong place, you'll snap the shoe in half. Yeah. The line in, in half. Stop jumping over there. When I drilled them out, I drilled them out from this side. A drill that was slightly weird and it needed to be four to go. Maybe. I don't know if I'll get them in today, I don't think so. Let's see. Let's see what I feel like. First packet, I'm sure they were longer than these, so it was cutting them down a bit. Which may have been a better idea anyway. Shoot them in the right place. There's not a lot of line in before it hits the rivets. Who uses tractor brakes anyway? <sighs> so there must be some kind of tool for it. I've got a bolt and a hammer, that's what I use. Sometimes I've done this actually. Now you wouldn't have put linings on, you would just, uh, just get replacements on you. Two to go. And need to do some stuff. The thing about tractor brakes is they're not stopping from a great speed like a car. Right? Say a Formula One brakes, that would stop it, but the only thing is, they wouldn't get hot enough. 
Does it all work? Oh, there's something like a thousand degrees. It's going to be hot to work. Last one. This one's sticking out the side. And I broke a bit because that was the first one I did accidentally. So let's uh, see. Sure oh. Oh, I keep telling myself to put things back where I got them from and I keep not doing it. Anyway, right, I'll switch you off and we'll go and move over to try and get these in. Right, uh, this is going to be great fun. I don't think we can get this in after the shoes are on. So I'm going to put it in now, I suppose. And I'm going to turn it because it was lined up with these two pins. So when you put your bolts in to pull it out, It was difficult. You would never manage to get that in once the brake shoes are on. Right, uh, brake shoes. This is a new peg I made. Maybe the auction's trying. Well, could we just wonder if we could put one in before we started or not. See, try, try with a bit more leverage, shall we say. Brake springs are always that awkward so and so. When you see folk just popping them in, you go, how did they manage that? You know what I mean? I wonder if I could make these easier to put them on in the ground and then try and get them on. Back 
Right, blind B. Get him by the front one, shouldn't we? Slide them off, I think. I have a lot of strength. That's a long time ago. I used to go to judo five times a week. They were super fit and strong. So I'm sure they're broken in two weeks. You know what to say, if, if there's a well, there's a way. That one sitting on top of it nearly. Tell you what I was going to do. Uh, Take my big micro arms. We'll measure it um, and see how it fits with the drum. It's the original shoes, so it should be. And it's backed off as far as it'll. Cool, I think. Shouldn't be a problem, really. Okay. What do you reckon? Nine inches? I'll get my toy out. I need to tell you what to do. I'm sure with that. What I'm saying, what are you doing? That's the word given to me. I never actually used them for anything, so... Looks good, so... Put a standard in and check it. Not that we need to for this light, but it's... A bit of practice, really, for... Doing stuff that you actually need to do this. It's by no one's evil. So. 
Got a zero, so that's good. Uh, it's like two tenths off of eight and a half inches. Eight and a half inches, I would say. So we know that size now, so put this away again. You've to remind me it's eight and a half inches now. I think we've got one, so it's the biggest we've got to. Uh, 15 inches is the biggest one I've got. I can go from one inch to four inches. I don't think I've got a five. I don't know. Might have a five. And then right up to 15 inches. I always wondered what I'd use them for. But uh, the gym that gave me them, yeah, brother in law, he says I'll probably use them more than he will. So he might be right. He usually watches my channel as well. There you go, Jim. I've used one of them. Just for fun. Next bit of fun's going off the ground. Yeah. Short is the four to five. Just take a second. So, I've got all them, and then I've got this set here, this Chinese set. I bought new, it's, it goes free. So it's quite a good little set. Uh, one inch up to four inches, we've got standards and everything. And uh, I have nothing that can go four to five, apart from a ruler. Since we can shut the box. Also, a job reading them. Takes me a minute. So loud later. Anyway, let's start. And. Uh, <coughs> so. The next thing we'll be trying to get the, the final drive back in. And isn't that going to be fun? We've got to get the diff locking spring in as well. So what we'll have to do is put it in a bit and then I'll get the diff locking spring on it. And then we'll go in slowly until we get to the latch and try and get it up over it. Yeah. So far. Eight and a half inches you said, didn't you? And then I'll have to uh, once that's back in I'll do something with that mess. Get that cleaned up. See if we can get that hydraulic ram out. See what's like in the back. And then decide what we're doing with the hydraulics, whether we're rebuilding the valve chest or sorting the broken bits or what. Still leaning towards a new spool valve, which I've got. Now it gives you two directions up, one in, one out, sort of thing. 
And I've got a ram for here. Let's get that away with that over there. And just use a ram here. That's basically what that does. It only pushes on one side. You can add it off. You can put the ram. The hole's already in there. The lift mm. do does for them. So we'll see. I don't think that'll be tomorrow. Okay, that's all for now. I'm going to put the lift now.